Today, this is the A90 Super in Need for Speed Heat. Exaline has done it. We finally get to experience the new Super in Need for Speed Heat. Uh, this car should have been in the game. I mean, it, sh it, it should have been. It's also a little bit broken. Early days, again, early days. Is that a Lotus bump? <laughs> Let's jump in and see what we can do. I'm telling a lie because I've already checked what we can do. And that's quite frankly, uh, nothing. It doesn't actually work properly. You can see the mesh isn't perfect on this side. But on this side, it looks great. The first thing I'm going to do, though, however, is change the paint. For those of you that remember, I had an A90 Supra. And for those of you that didn't, I had an A90 Supra. And I had it in this kind of satin uh, matte color gray and honestly it grew on me a lot i didn't actually want to pick that i wanted a bright color but at the same time it genuinely really worked for this car and of course it's a bmw paint so funny meme <laughs> so this thing swaps out for the z4 or z4 depending on where you are in the world as you can clearly tell it's the perfect swap for it in fact the exhausts are they in the perfect place i i feel like they actually are i mean I can't picture how the Z4 now looks because it's completely just gone from my brain now that we've got this. You already know I am absolutely dying for this car to come to Need for Speed. I really, really hope that this car does come to the next game. Toyota, please, I'm begging you, if you don't, we're just going to mod it anyway. How about having it authentically in the game with some crazy mods? Now, the handling is a little bit odd on this car. I've got one of those handling mods again that clearly didn't do much work on the Z4. I, I swear, it's, it's causing me more pain than <laughs> than not recently. Or oh, also, the steering wheel's on the wrong side of the car. Yeah. Now, because this is, of course, the A90 that I feel like, I wouldn't say got away, but I got rid of for a particular reason, I want to build this in a couple of different ways. I want to build the engine that's in it, because the engine that's in it is what's supposed to be in it, but also, we could probably 2J swap it. So, uh, that's it's a bit of both. Well, let's get down to it then. So, the base version of it is going to have the BMW B58. As you can tell, it already does. And it sounds it sounds a little bit off if I'm if I'm totally honest. Not fully accurate. All right, here we go. Fly up those ranks, my boy. I want to see you with a big turbo. Let's go. Big Wait, is that big? It's George. Fine. Ignore it. <laughs> big old track suspension breaks everything. Absolutely everything that is possible to throw on this car. Although we may actually have a 400 plus to our name. We do. We can also do an all wheel drive swap. It just, it, just in case you want to. Oh, come on. We also really need to fix the fitment on this thing. I, yeah, that's going way, way low. That's so sick. Of course, we've got this stance tuning mod on. We can actually make it so it fits super nice. We put some camber on there as well. Looking pretty good. Got to get that right fitment. Come on. Oh, honestly, that's almost perfect. Just a little bit more negative camber. And there you go. She fits. Man, it looks good. At me, it may as well be a little bit too low, to be honest. I, I raise it up just a little bit. And one thing I know for a fact that we can do is change the wheels. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. We could put rotors on there. Look, hey, pretty fly, pretty fly. My favorite wheels, which suit literally every car to exist. We could put some BBS wheels on there, which again, looks super, super fly. Man, I want this car in the game. Come on, Criterion, you do do some magic for us. And finally, some exhaust tuning, just to make it sound its absolute best with this exhaust. Aggressive? I think that's the best we're gonna get right there. It's not too bad, not too shabby. And it wouldn't be a Black Panther video without doing a little bit of ricing. So let me just show you, in fact, before we do that, there is one other thing that XLine has added to this car. If we put on these... What is it? Ju That's not what I meant to do. Um, it's a, it's a... Ignore it. It's fine. It has my plate on the back. How sick. Just remove this text. And bang. That is my plate right there. Oh my God. The things even fit around it. That's super sick. If I'm totally honest with you, it sounds a little bit odd, the engine. I, I, I feel like the 2J is going to make more sense for this car. The, the, the sound of this engine is just, I, I don't know. Did they change it with Unite or is it genuinely just weird? I think it's just genuinely a weird noise. Realistically, the real thing is a little bit weird as well. Oh my God, they've all got my license plate. It won't shift gears properly. It's fine. <laughs> Put the boost down. Anyway, yeah, this this engine in general is a little bit weird. Like I, every time I've heard it done a little bit too much, it's way too raspy to the point where it, it honestly it sounds a little bit like this. 
Too much rasp from the BMWs is a common thing nowadays. How can I do now with this car? I'm, I'm a little bit worried because the handling is just a little bit odd. That's what happens when you play with like mods on mods on mods. I ain't gonna complain though, because I got the soup in need for speed heat. Mate, it's just not changing gears. <laughs> this is how I drive. I just rev bang everywhere. Pretty happy with how the wheels have turned out as well. They fit it quite nicely. Look a little bit cooler when they're What the? Where did my car go? <laughs> Work in progress, guys. Work in progress. I'm going to compare. No! He spun it. He spun it. It's fine. Put on a little bit of the action cam. Of course, we've had to turn off the motion blur as well. But the game still feels really quick compared to what it... He's got again. <laughs> Maybe it's to do with the camera. Maybe it's like de-rendering the car at a distance because we noticed that in the garage as well. But I'm really, really curious how this thing's going to look. I'm going to put a nice bright color in it and a 2J swap just to have both of them, just to see which kind of I prefer. Because I am actually considering buying the manual version of this again once it finally comes out. Apparently, it's going to get revealed literally next month, which will be pretty cool. I would definitely consider another one of these. Even just, even just to see again, to try. Maybe I'll make the same mistake twice, but maybe I won't. Maybe I'll turn out to love it. And I think this is the best car in the world. Step number two is to swap out this engine. I'm so glad they added engine swaps in this game. And the models made it even better and put in a 2J. Pretty sick. Now, actually, if I go through, what other engines do we have? Oh, we have the VR38. That's just odd. That's odd. We've got the forged RB26, which doesn't sound really like an RB26, but you know what? We've got a VQ <laughs> and forged there as well. I'm going to go for the 2J, obviously. Put all the parts back on. This is the ultimate dream. This with a 2J with a manual, of course, and put an automatic 2J in there. Yeah, bring that power shot NOS up and it's actually slower not quite what i expected there we can get a little bit higher with the track differential making it all wheel hang on the drift differential maxes it out i am so confused i want to put this in i'm I, constantly confused by the modifications in this mod the unite mod but anyway now we're going to jump in and actually change it up a little bit because i've gone for the gray so far i kind of want to go for a nice color i really like the blue that started appearing on the supras it's like the new a91s and above have that oh mate these look oh don't do this to me oh game oh get why does this color look good on every damn car i've changed my mind we're doing this it looks so good it looks so freaking good and because i am rice man with cheese i've said this before but like completely forgot i'm gonna throw on an exhaust now if clearly it doesn't replace the exhaust because the exhaust is part of the standard mesh but uh, if you you know put a certain angle you won't, you won't even be able to bloody notice which is which is fine uh, i think i gotta go for something like this however <laughs> because why the frick not it actually covers the exhaust pretty pretty much better than any other exhaust oh this paint looks so freaking good at this light let's get it Foot down. Now, weirdly, the the drift kind of setup actually seems to make it so I can turn. It's the Rosas. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. It's drifted. Put the foot down and see if I can make the cockpit. I mean, the exterior disappear. <laughs> I can't. I just killed a house. I apologize. I didn't mean to destroy your house like that, sir. Anyway, this thing is rapid and the noise is just like wind that's what happens with the 2j when you fully upgrade it that's why i will always say rb baby rb is better you could fight me i will je i will fight you if you require 2j decent rb better should i get should i get should i just rb swap a super yeah and that'll like annoy everybody Can, is there someone done that before because <laughs> that would be hilarious anyway let's now Look at that, it's so much better. Let's jump it into an event, check it out, see how we do. I'm, I'm excited, I'm very, very excited that this car's finally here. I'm, take all the photos. Race number two, I bet you this is gonna be better. It already handles better because it has a proper engine in it now, Toyota. You know what I'm saying, Toyota? Wanna fight? Come on, let's get it. A90, 2JZ. Is it rear-wheel drive or all-wheel drive? I think it's rear -wheel. My car disappeared. <laughs> Let's get it. Look at that launch. That's got to be an all-wheel drive. Ah, oh, maybe not. Maybe. Even the gearing is better. It's not just... Bah, 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 bah. It's doing it properly. Look at that Toyota automatic gearbox. Be being better than the, than the BMW 
spongy gearbox. It's not acceptable. Keep your 140i in the bin. This car just suits the game so much. It just it just screams need for speed. I really hope we get like the Street Hunter kit on this. I would I would die to have the Street Hunter kit on the Supra. And of course, it, basically every other major body kit. Street Hunter though would, however, be mega cool. They've worked with TJ in the past, pretty much just for ad campaigns. But if they could do something a little bit cooler, like having TJ's body kit on the car, I would love that so much. And you already know they would they would do a 2J swap as is. <laughs> they. They would just do it. No questions asked. No mods required. Still really stiff. Careful, careful, careful. And boost. Give it a little flick. And on the power. <laughs> you know a car is... Wait, where's the car's gone? You know a car's rapid when it feels slow with the motion blur disabled. Good God. I'm gonna die. Onto the final lap. <laughs> 160 feels quick. I, I, I really miss that about it. I've been playing a lot of Gran Turismo, so going 100 miles an hour on Need for Speed feels like I'm going a million <laughs> in Gran Turismo terms. Sense of speed in arcade races, most of them, is generally just unmatched. Back on it. Pull a big one. Yes. <laughs> it goes in like slow motion when it slides. And again. Hold that boost. Hold that boost. Wait, we've got none. We've got no boost left. There we do. And across the line. <laughs> the roof keeps bloody disappearing. There we are. The A90 Supra. Better be coming to the next Need for Speed. Down below is the link to x Line server. He will release it there when it is ready for the public. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. And until next time, my friends. Smash those big boys off the road. Peace. <laughs>